Hi Leif, in the previous videos we have talked about how to do these banners and how to do these galleries. Uh, now in this one we're going to cover just some of these basic on-page elements, these headlines, uh, adding and editing text and links as well. Um, when I'm making these kinds of edits I like to have both the page that I'm working on open in both the front end and the back end of the website. Um, so to get there, you can either go to Pages and then click on the page that you want, or once you're logged in, you can see that you've got this edit bar up here and you can just say Edit Page. And you can right click and open that in another tab. And then you've got here, you can see the back end and here you can see the front end. So these things correspond very well. I mean, it's, it's, pretty visual on the back end. You can see here we've got a headline that says expand your Portland home with an addition, expand your Portland home with an addition, and then the text as well is showing right here in this block. These items can all be dragged around and change the order of them, so if you decided you wanted this gallery down below this other text instead of where it is, you can do that. You can also drag it between blocks, so you can see this is one block here, and here's another block here. You can take this gallery and you can pull it all the way down here if you wanted it to be there. When you're making edits back here, nothing goes live until you hit this update button. So if perhaps you started making some edits and then you got sidetracked or something and you didn't want anything to go live because you didn't know where you left off, you can just refresh the page and that will uh, essentially delete all of the edits that you just made without making them live. Um, to edit text, you can see that when I hover over any of these elements, I get this little green bar uh, that gives me some options. That one I was just showing you is this first one here, which allows you to click and hold and drag things around to different places. The second one here is what lets you edit it. So um, you can come right here and you can click, if you wanted to change this headline, you can click this Edit Custom Heading. And then here is your text for that. Um, all you would need to do is just, you know, update this text, obviously, to whatever you wanted it to be. For the uh, body text, same process. You just come right here, click on that little pencil that says Edit Text Block when you hover over it. And up this comes. You can... Um, change the size of your screen here if you've got room here and this pop-up that comes up you can also change this window size so that you've got room to work in. These buttons along the top here will look very familiar to you. They're very word-like um, so you know you've got options for bolding and italics and bulleting and numbered lists and text alignment and all, all kinds of stuff here that I'm, I'm sure you'll be very familiar with. Um, if you are copying and pasting from a Word document or from uh, in any other source material, it's very helpful to use this Paste as Text button so that you don't inadvertently bring in formatting from that other document. Uh, sometimes it won't even be apparent when you look at it here uh, that you've brought that in until you publish it. Um, you know, you could end up with pink text or different fonts or different sizes, and it might not show you right here because it would be in the code that you're not seeing. So this is a very helpful thing to use, even if you're bringing some text in from your own Word document, uh, to be able to use this Paste as Text document uh, button right here. You can see here we've got a link in this text. If you want to add a link, uh, it is as simple as you can just put in some text or highlight some existing text. So here I've inserted this text, you see. We can highlight this right here. We come right up here to this little link icon, and you can see again when you hover over it, it gives you an explanation of what it is. It says Insert Edit Link. We're just going to click that. We've got a simple edit interface up first. What we want to do is pretty much always come over to this Link Options, this little gear here, and click on that. Now, if you're linking within your own website, you get you have this list to choose from right down here. It makes it handy so that you don't have to go to the front end and pull the link if you want to link to bathrooms or conversions or kitchens or whatever it might be. You can simply click on that and you can see it writes the link for you right up here. 
If you are linking to an external website, which you might want to do at some time or another, I would highly suggest going to that page, actually opening another tab. Even if it's something as simple as Google, go there, highlight it, copy that link, and then come back here and paste that in. And that way you know for sure that the link is correct. The other thing that you're going to want to do when you're linking to an external site is you want to click this open link in new tab checkbox. And that way, let's just go ahead and make this live for a second. You can see here's our text. We'll just go ahead and hit update. We'll refresh the page here. Here we've got our text, and now when we click that, you can see here's the tab that we're in, and it's going to open a new tab so that then when they're done with that and they close it, your website is still open here. That's, that's the reason to do that, so that we're not necessarily taking them away from the website in a way that's not going to bring them back. Obviously, we don't want that, so deleting it is as simple as coming back here, delete, save, Update. If you want to add another headline to one of these pages, these have special formatting applied to them. I would recommend using this next option on this green bar, which is to clone something. So in that case, you could just duplicate it. You can see now we have two of these. You can take the, the new one, whatever the old one, drag it to wherever you want, and then you can edit that. I am also, just like with the galleries, going to go ahead and add that and some other items to this template option here. So you can see I just clicked on this button right here, and it's going to bring up a list of templates. I want, I'm going to have some very simple items in here like headline and like button, things like that, so that you don't have to worry about getting the formatting right on those. You can also see how most of the pages have this um, sort of rhythm going where there is a white panel and then there is a tan panel. That is another one that I'm going to go ahead and add to the templates here. So I will add one called shaded row or something very similar like that uh, so that you can easily add those in without having to try to figure out what this color is or where to add that. Uh, it will be all ready to go for you. You can see that we've got some here um, where the content is arranged into columns within a row. And here on the back end of the website, we can see that right here is the corresponding content. So right here is where that is controlled. You can see that in this case, we have a row within a row. And this one is arranged into thirds. You can change the... Um, the relationship between these columns so that, you know, maybe you decide at some point you don't want visualizing here anymore and you only want right sizing and contextualizing. Uh, you could easily change this to a half and half instead of thirds and click that and then you could just easily get rid of this other content and hit update there. Obviously we don't want to make that change so I'm just going to go ahead and refresh the page like I showed you before. And it will go right back to the way that it was. Once I have these, uh, the rest of these templates set up, I will be making an additional video uh, running through those really quickly, making sure you understand what each of those is and how to use them. But I think this really should uh, take care of most of what you need to be able to um, edit these pages. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.